Hi, I'm Paul. Welcome to Mind 2. I'm now going to show you how to use Romba, which is one of our painting apps. First of all, you uh, click on this brush panel below the Romba tab itself, and you find um, a brush by scrolling through those available at the top. We call them brushes. They don't look much like brushes, some of them. But anyway, I'm going to pick number 31 for now and show you what they do. Um, I'm going to change the scale to 8 in this case. Leave the color black. Click OK. Now, you can immediately see there's some um, shapes uh, in the background here, which is exactly what I'm after. Um, I don't want that alpha at 100, though. I want that only 50. Hit return. And I'm going to do that again. This time I'm going to turn it 90 degrees. That's the second brush. I'm going to leave that as, put that up to 70. Hit return. And then I'm going to do a third instance here this particular brush and I'm going to change that to 120 degrees and also change the colour bring it down to a dark blue there and bring that um, alpha up to about 90 okay and click once more now I'm going to change the brush so what I've been doing is building up tones in the background using that brush there's another one in the here which I'm also going to do more or less the same thing with but um, use it because it has different patterns which you can see here and um, I've got to decide now whether I want <coughs> that, uh, that to, to be as dark as that I think it could be a bit lighter now I'll bring that down to 50 that's good and I'm going to do the same as I did before click it uh, another instance of that brush and change the rotation this is 90 degrees um, which also removes the curve and brings in some more angular elements. I'm also going to change the colour and I'm going to click once more in that colour before changing the colour itself to something a bit brighter and changing the rotation again. I'm going to hit 90. Okay, so what was all that about? Well, let's cycle through some of the backgrounds and we'll see that we already we may have made an image that's acceptable. So we start out with red, that's the first gradient we pick, gradient A, B, and so on. And you see what I mean. There are some of these which may be all we need to create a usable image. Something we can send as a birthday card, um, any kind of card really, for any kind of message. It could be an invitation. Um, could be, sorry I turned, didn't turn up, could be get well soon, anything you like. Okay, so you've got all those options. Let's take that green one at the end for now. Let's take that option there, put in another yellow instance of that particular brush there, and bring that up to 100. So we've got something a bit brighter. And now I'm going to go to this uh, um, panel at the end that says normal, and I'm going to fiddle around with some of these options here to see if I can't, just using what's already there, create something which is even better than what's already there. And you basically it's a question of trial and error, you just flick through them and um, until you hit something that you like the look of. It might not happen, it might happen. Um, if you like the look of that, well fine, go with it. Um, okay, well I'm not sure about this, so I'm going to stick with normal for now, quite like that. And I'm going to call that a day. I think that'll do for my card. Um, you've got lots and lots of brushes to play with. Remember, I just used two of them. You've got lots of backgrounds to play with. And there is a way you can change the gradient background if you want to. I'll quickly show you before I leave you. Uh, by winging that little slider right over to the left. And then coming out of there, going into the More tab, and clicking on that little colour picker. And you just decide on the background you want by clicking um, on the particular colour of your desire. There you go. So simple as that. I quite like that one, actually. So there's my little finished uh, e-card, or send it to Facebook, wherever. Thanks very much for watching. Lots more painting apps like this online, too. Do check us out. Thanks once again for watching.